We're going to talk about Hunger Games. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Uh, yeah, let's, we can start with that. Okay, so we'll give our scores first and then uh, then go into spoilers. So we'll give a spoiler warning before we talk about that. Um, you want to give your score first for this one? Sure, yeah. Um, I, uh, I really liked this movie. Uh, if I had to give it a score, uh, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. There's a couple of things that I didn't necessarily have issues with, but I wish they expanded on more. Yeah. Um, but I really did like it. I like special effects. I like the story. I like how it was in parts. So, yeah, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Yep. That's actually exactly what I have on my my notes is I, I would give it an 8 also. I feel like if I would have read the book, I may have given it lower. But since I didn't read the book, uh, mm -hmm. I... I I liked it. I thought it was a good good movie. It had some interesting things with the pacing that we'll talk about more. Um Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know, so that, that brings it down a little bit. But I, I enjoyed this movie and I like the Hunger Games universe, so it was cool getting back in, seeing it from a different time period and stuff. So Yeah, like seeing how like almost primitive at least compared to right to the newer hunger games like the games are like yep you know throwing them in a in a truck instead of you know trading them like celebrities yep okay but, uh, so yeah there's more i want to say but we'll get in spoilers now. yep we're gonna talk about the movie in depth so if you haven't seen it go watch it and then uh come back and watch this and get our thoughts so this is your spoiler warning okay so the movie starts I thought it was interesting even seeing because the movie starts out like right or in the dark times I think they called it or something like that um, yeah when the war was going on yeah right at the end of the war um, so that was I was not expecting to really see that um, and I thought that was a, a cool time period to see and how brutal it was like I was... saw that guy eating or taking the leg of the other guy yeah that was pretty and, cool. uh, So was Snow's father uh, like a prominent figure in the war? That's what it seemed like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, I wonder if they go into that in the book more. I'm sure they do. Yeah, there's just not enough time in the movie to go into all that. But yeah, it seemed like he was... Because he's in the capital, so he obviously was on the, the winning yeah. side. And then he got disgraced somehow, which I don't even know. Did they really, like... Or were they just poor? I I didn't really catch that as to why they're in poverty in the capital. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. Is it because it because of his father's disgrace? Yeah. Or whatever happened to his father? Yeah. I'm assuming. I just don't think we they really explain what exactly happened. But yeah, I think that is why. Yeah, at least in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Um Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I really liked that. Uh, and then I liked how, like I said before, like I liked how the movie was in parts. Mm -hmm. Like part one, part the two, part one, three. Yeah. Yep. Or act one, yeah. Whatever they called it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like it broke it up pretty good for the most part, I'll say. I. So if, like, for me, I don't know if it's, if this is a common thing, but for me, I it's like, the be like I think Act One was the best. Act Two was the second best. And I think the third act was the weakest. Like I, it yeah. kind of got. I don't want to say worse as the movie got on, but just uh, I don't know. That third act is it just me or it felt like so quick? Like it ended so abruptly, even yeah, though it was a two and a half hour did. movie. Yeah, it was a long movie, and it definitely it it felt like when the first part of the third act started, it seemed kind of slow, and then yeah, mm -hmm. it just kind of ended real quick. So it was kind of rushed. It started slow and then rushed to the end. Yeah. And and I was reading that the director wanted it to be one movie. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because he's the same guy who did 
uh, Catching Fire and the last two movies. Oh, okay. same director. Gotcha. And he said that they got so much flack for doing the last book into two parts. He he's like, I didn't care how long this movie was. I want to make it in one part. Gotcha. That makes sense. Um, so like, I guess that was one ding for me. Is a, uh, I actually really enjoyed that first part. And and to be honest, that's another thing for me. Is a, uh, I don't know. I feel like they had a lot of plot lines or, or story beats they could have taken, and they kind of just dropped. Like for example, in that first, excuse me, in that first act. It was all about wowing and getting sponsors. And mm-hmm. I feel like they kind of breathed through that. Like, I thought they were going to dig more into that. And, like, with his buddy, uh, I don't remember his name. Sejanus uh, or whatever. Is that yeah, Sejanus. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he didn't want, who hated the games and stuff. Yeah. Like, I thought they would dig into that more in that first one. Like, they had a scene where where uh, Snow, he wanted to to go give him food his friend's like, oh, so you're feeding the animals. And he convinced them, no, you said you want to take care of them. Right. So they're both doing the same thing, but for different reasons. Yeah, and I thought they were taking more and more into that. Yeah. And they didn't really. Yeah, that's, I wonder if they do in the book with that too. We're probably going to say that a lot. Did you feel <laughs> that though? Like, I really thought in that first act, they're going to dig more into like, wowing the crowd and, yeah. and I don't know. I definitely felt that. Yeah, for sure. And they, I mean, you basically the only thing they did to that end is just show the number go up, <laughs> like mm-hmm. the, like um, the sponsors or whatever. Yeah, and and I really like I really enjoyed that first act. Like I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, and the first act was really like, good. I almost could have watched a whole movie on just the first and second act, to be honest. Yeah, I kind of felt like that. I understand why he didn't want to break it up after the Catching Fire thing, but I almost feel like this one would have been mm-hmm. a better one to break up. Because I was kind of thinking that same thing. Yeah. I feel like the... Yeah, they really... I Honestly, I feel like even the first part, they could have made a whole movie on it, but again, it, it's they're not going to do that because there's no action at the end or something. Yeah, but. yeah. And then you have a Hunger Games without a Hunger Game, and yeah, yeah. And I really liked the, the one thing I'll say too is I really, I really love the acting in this movie. Yeah, the acting was the great. guy who played Snow. My God, was he perfect? Yeah, I have Snow no complaints for him. Snow and Gaunt, the the game maker, was really good. Oh, yeah, uh, Viola, Viola Davis, Viola right? Davis, Later, yeah. I believe. Yep. She did great. Yeah. And you were, like, she was terrifying, but yeah, like, she was. Like, she scared, she would scare the crap out of me. <laughs> and and her outfit, everything about her was. Her look, was just like great. a mad scientist look. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and of course, uh, Peter Dinklage is always awesome. Yep. And it's yeah, kind of cool, great. like. You know, towards the end, you kind of learn that, like, he was the one trying to get rid of the game. So he's really, like, a good guy. Yeah. You know, he's, like, a dick. To, yeah. <laughs> to, <laughs> to Snow, yeah. Although, to be fair, um, like, Snow kind of deserves to be a dick, too. In the I was going to say, we are watching, like, a villain. Play. Yeah. Yeah, that um, was, like, yeah, the acting was great. Yeah, the acting was really good. And the seeing how Snow became the Snow we know in the... The Hunger Games original trilogy was really cool. Like, I thought they did that really well of showing his, like, he he's kind of like, if you didn't know the character, you wouldn't know if he was, like, really trying to help Lucy Gray or just doing it for uh-huh. himself. But since we kind of know that already, it, like, put a darker tone to it, kind of. Like, in my mind, I'm like, but this is Snow. He's, like, he's evil. Something bad's gonna happen. Uh-huh. <laughs> like... So yeah, that really that's true. Because I wonder how this would be, like, a, I wonder what a perspective would be of someone who doesn't have never seen a Hunger Games. This is the first one. Yeah, that would be interesting. Because I wonder what's more shocking, like, or interesting, like that we know, and you could kind of start to see the hints of it. Yeah. Or you think you're watching a good guy, and then he turns bad. Yeah, that would be a pretty crazy, like, twist. Um. How do you feel about the actress who played uh, the main actress antagonist, uh, Lucy Lucy Gray, I think her name is? Yeah, I thought she did fine. Her accent was a little here or there for me, but other than that, I thought it was was a fine performance, and her singing sounded pretty good. So, 
the 10 songs she sings. Yeah, she does sing a lot. But to be fair, songs have always been like a big part of the Hunger Games stuff. I was so. going to say Hunger Games have always had singing and songs and Yep. And they were good. I mean, yeah. Um, but yeah, I I liked her and uh I know a lot of people aren't fans of her. Is that just because of the uh, aerial thing that people are upset about? <laughs> uh, the uh, the Snow White thing. Snow she's, White, yeah, she's, that's it. Ariel was yeah, a different one. Yeah, yeah. These, yeah. But she kind of has that like controversy. <laughs> kind of has that like I don't know, like snobby kind of attitude when she's in the interviews and stuff. Gotcha. But, like I, I put all that crap aside and like yeah, yeah, as it is, and I thought she did good. Yeah, I thought she was good. Um. So, like, as far as acting and, and like, even special effects and costumes and all that, like, I really thought it was, oh, it was great. The I loved the Flickerman character. The, the I forget his oh, name. The his announcer name. dude. Yeah. Or the the weatherman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny. I thought he did a great job. I was cracking up. Yep. Especially after in the Hunger Pretty. Games, um, Stanley Tucci did such a good job. That that was some pretty big shoes to fill, and he did a good job uh -huh. too. They always got to have the funny announcers. Uh, <laughs> yep. I was cracking up when he was doing the weather. In the of the <laughs> that was so funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that, that was that was really good. <laughs> he was getting mad. Uh, what, when they were going to the zoo to visit, he got mad. Like, not everyone knows who I am. Yeah. <laughs> not everyone has TVs. <laughs> like that. Yep. Yeah, he was great in every scene uh, he was in. So, I, no, like, to, to be honest, this... <clears throat> I don't know. For, maybe it's recency bias, but I need to rewatch the other ones. But this movie actually almost feels, I don't know, more, I don't know the word I'm looking for, like more uh, like grounded and consistent than the other ones. I don't know. I really liked it. Like this one felt more, I don't know. Yeah. It, it's, it felt authentic, as I guess I'm trying to say. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's you know, been a while since I've watched where, the other ones, but, but it, I think it's up there with Catching Fire. Like, Catching Fire is really good, but I think this one got mm. close to that. Yeah, like, I would have to rewatch Catching Fire. Yeah. I know for a fact I like this more than the last two parts, yeah, the last two movies. I agree. Um, I might even like this more than Hunger Games, to be honest. And I just was rewatching that today. Yeah, that one I haven't seen in a real long time. But man, like, I really did forget, like, the Hunger Games, they actually really are good movies. Like, rewatching the first one, like, they're very, it's almost like a character study mixed with, like, yeah. dystopian, mixed with, like, first 30 minutes, you know, it was like, it wasn't dystopian. It was more like, well, it was, but it was more like, you know, you're dirty, gritty, and then you get mm -hmm. to the capital, and it's, like, glamorous, glamorous and, yep. and then you get to the games, and it's kind of like a horror, you know, I don't know. I really like the Hunger Games as yeah. movies. Um, now the issues, I guess we already mentioned, were the pacing towards the end. Yeah, uh, and then the the themes. I thought they'd dig into more. I I just felt like there was a they yeah. had a lot of different plot points, and they kind of I don't want to say abandoned them, but I just thought, like I said before, they would dig deeper into the specific ones that they yeah, never I, I, did. To, to follow up on that, I I kind of had that I. I didn't really know how to describe it, but I think you did, you put it pretty well, but like there were a couple times where I was like, Oh, that's why the games do this. And then I was expecting them to go more into that. But I guess that just like happens in the future after this, because they start like mm -hmm. with the sponsors and the glam and like treating them like celebrities. I, I thought yeah. we would see a little bit more of that, but yeah, they just, I guess that just happens gradually over the next 60 years or whatever. Yeah, because they slowly obviously implemented that with with the sponsors in this one and also, yep. I guess the whole point of this one was they're having their counselor, whatever they call them, yeah. uh, like mm -hmm. a hate yep. instead of hate it, but I wanted to see, like, I wonder how it got from just having the students be it to having the winner of a, a district be it. Like a previous winner, because oh, yeah. like Hamish, as I believe, is he is was, a previous winner. Yep, he was a previous winner. So he wasn't a like student or anything. So I wonder how it got to that point. Yeah, they could do so much true. with this world, I guess. They definitely could. 
And it would be kind of cool to see like the actual war before it all, or like the very first Hunger Games. Yeah, true. Although I have a feeling it'd be similar to this. It seems like the first like ten Hunger Games were all just in that arena, and then later yeah, on, yeah, like they... the or anything. Yeah, like gladiator style. Yep. Uh, did you have any other issues? I'm trying to think of it. Um... Those are the two biggest things for me. Those were the main ones. I, I'm trying to think. I think really it was just the pacing was the big thing. Like, I just expected more in that third act. But yeah, we talked about that. Um, I do. Um, I saw some people theorizing that the bombing that happens at the um, arena could have been orchestrated by Gaunt to, like, kind of quell the uprising or give a reason why they would quell the uprising. And I thought that was an interesting, like, hmm. possibility. I don't know if that's something they talk about in the book or if that's just, like, a theory. Yeah. But, um... That, that was kind of interesting, actually. Yeah. Um, I guess one of the other things, like, I didn't know... I didn't read the book... So, like, I didn't know if, like, what would happen to Lucy Gray. Mm -hmm. So, for me, it was kind of entertaining because I was wondering, like, what is going to be... Yeah. Like, what is going to be what changes? Yeah, and I was wondering if she was, and, like, uh, related to Katniss in any way. Um, and I guess she kind of is. I think the... Um, those two kids playing, right? Yeah, Were they, like, Katniss's I mean, parents or one of them? Her grandmother or something. Maud is her name. Yeah, it's one of those two kids playing. Because yeah. yep. they mentioned, you know, the Katniss root or yep. whatever. Yep, the, um, the plant. Yeah, they got the plant. Um, so that's kind of yeah, a cool little time. Really... And then seeing mm -hmm. who wrote The Hanging Tree the the scene where yeah. um Sejanus gets hanged and like is crying out and then all the mocking jays like echo his cries oh, that was uh, that was pretty pretty dark <laughs> i didn't even think of that yeah, and like, like when that happened i was like oh dang that, that, that was dark creepy and they like show it for a second and it's like yeah i don't oh, know and then like it that, is a pretty dark movie it is that was one other thing i know it's just the the fact that it has to be rated teen but like no blood they showed a bunch of people getting stabbed and just like it's so clean and oh yeah but you know that's every t-rated movie they did uh yeah there's no blood but yep. they did show like a lot more than i thought in the sense of like not like putting the throwing the camera off yeah, you know true they didn't have the shaky there's cam no like that first yeah. Yeah, like is that first movie? Trust me, I'm rewatching it, and oh <laughs> boy, is that damn shaky. <laughs> oh my lord! But yeah. this one, like you, you see some stuff. Like you just don't see blood. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, what did you think of like the part two, which is pretty much focuses mainly on the games? Yeah, I thought the games were. It was cool to see, like the start of it. So seeing the actual game was interesting. Um, after the bombing, having a way for her to kind of escape was a cool little, like, plot device. Um, mm -hmm. and yeah, I thought they were pretty brutal. Like, a bunch of people got stabbed with that pitchfork or whatever it was. Yeah, that freaking pitchfork. And even, like, even the snakes, that was kind of gross. Yeah. And then when they, when they showed, uh, when they showed, uh, it uh snow's buddy when i showed his friend that tried to escape hanging too yeah so I'm hang yeah that was pretty um, pretty brutal and i liked how they you know snow snuck in her some rat poison that she could use and oh and yep. that she put in a drink and accidentally killed that girl yeah uh um and then i, I don't know i kind of like the setup of the the snakes and the like, it doesn't totally make sense, but um, the, like, scent of the snake and yeah. him putting the handkerchief in there, that was a pretty good setup, even though, you know, it's like, I mean, well, is that how they would really act? But <laughs> I guess they're genetically yeah. modified, so whatever. And it didn't, like, didn't bother me too much. I know he's probably not thinking, but of course you're going to get caught. Where <laughs> yeah, do you think the sure. is going to go? 
it has your initials in it. <laughs> like, yeah, at, at least I mean, I guess he can at least try to scrape off the initials or something, man. Yeah. But either or, maybe I mean, I don't know. Love makes you do crazy things, man. Maybe he just wasn't thinking. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, he was just desperate because he he knew that would would kill her. So let me ask you this: If uh, do you think he was always gonna go crazy, or do you think if uh, Lucy Gray stayed with him and they they left, do you think he would have lived a nice, peaceful life? That uh, I don't know. I think I think he always wanted power and like influence, but that could just be like because. Friends. Because I know the character, so that's just what I assumed the whole yeah. time, so. I mean, his friend did say, like, you're always analyzing everything. Yep, true. Like, so, yeah, I, um, I was pleasantly surprised, because I'll be honest, like, I saw, I think, one trailer, but I knew it was about snow, but I knew nothing else about the yeah, movie. Yeah, I didn't even see a full trailer. I just saw, like, little bits on the, like, during football games but and stuff. Oh so, yeah, like so little I think that definitely yeah. helped. I, I love going into movies like that. It doesn't happen that often because mm -hmm. I get too excited about some things and then just <laughs> look up stuff. Yeah. But but when it does, it's a it's a pleasant surprise. Yeah, and I was worried. Like I didn't know it was long, so I'm like, and I'm to be quite honest, I, I'm kind of getting sick of long movies. Yeah, uh, but this yeah. one felt fine for me. Yeah, it didn't feel too long. Mm -mm. Like. If anything, it needed to show more, but I, I yeah, was just say, yeah. this, it's going to be way too long. But yeah, that's pretty much all I had. I, I really, really liked it. And I think it's a, I think it's a worthy entry in the Hunger Games like yeah. universe. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm looking through my notes and I think we talked about everything that I had. So yeah, it was good. Very pleasantly surprised because it was not on my radar, and then I saw a few things and glad we went and saw it. Mm -hmm. Me too. Plus, it's kind of cool. Like, it's kind of like our first movie we're seeing in theaters and going to talk about it. So, yep. I don't know, it's kind of exciting. <laughs> yeah.